Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking time out for yourself, realizing the things that we need to take heed on and, you know, learning different things around our to know our life purpose. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know what we're about to upload. Well, I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it is about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or a friend, please go ahead and do so. Um, especially if they're having dark times right now and need confirmation and validation. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. So thank you once again for the love and support that you've been giving me. It's all greatly appreciated and make you feel blessed. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today. And this beautiful meditation music that I am listening to is called uh, New Age Meditation Music with Binary Beats for Sleep, Relaxation, and Sonic Elevator Healing. And I will post that link in the description box below. Oh, I'm trying so hard not to sneeze. There's a sneeze. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's like my allergies have been acting up. Y'all went outside for um, a nature walk today, and it's just like pollen all over the place. And it's just like, and then I just came in from picking up my daughter, so it's like all up in the air. But anyways, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hayoka's hey, spiritual warfare is getting really real. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to put a disclosure up. You know, I might talk about some sensitive. I might talk about sensitive subjects. So if you are in your feelings about a lot of things that's going on, especially about the the shooting that we had a few days ago, I um, was just shedding light on different things and how to look at it in a different way. I will be talking about that. So if you don't want to hear anything about that, please go ahead and cut this video off. But yeah, it, it, it's just a lot of the things when I got out of my feelings about certain things, it, it's just like, uh, it's, it's really been sad. You know, uh, everything that goes on, especially with us in, empaths, we feel everything. We feel every emotion, everything. And it was just like seeing, um, Seeing all the different things that I've seen in the last few days, this is the main reason why I don't like seeing the news, but it's just like when it comes to shootings, and it's especially, it doesn't matter if it's black or white, but it's anybody who's trying to push out positivity, shedding light and awareness on things that we need to know about, especially when it comes to our health. You know, there's too many things out here in the world that, you know, people get sicknesses, diseases from, and they don't have cures for it. But just to know, just to know that people will get killed off because they want to be able to benefit off of the 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 money of that it takes to seek these treatments, um, doing all these different things, or you know just basically just taken away from anybody that is trying to make the world a better place is really a, a messed up feeling because it's like the more I read up on things, you know, I like to see about different things that I wasn't, you know, prone to before, you know, and it's just like when I was hearing about Dr. CB, um, I've heard about him a long, long, long time ago, and it was, you know, it was like bits and pieces I really heard about, but I guess it's like I've been going through so many different things, I forgot about it, you know, it's just like anything else, if it's not something we deal with on a day, day basis, we just stop thinking about it. But it's just like with all the spiritual warfare that's going around, it's like I've been seeing so many different things now since Nipsey has uh, been killed. Nick Cannon is going to go ahead and take off, uh, take 
take care of the documentary that he's pushing out. And I pray that he is very well protected over this situation. A lot of people try to say about different conspiracy theories or anything else. I, it's just all based off of my opinion and the things that I'm seeing. Because it seems like anytime somebody talk about this Dr. CB and ready to do a documentary on his life and how all these things that he was trying to find cures for, people come up dead. You know, it's just like, it just doesn't make any sense. It, it, you know, there's a lot of things that they don't talk about. You know, there's people getting killed, being tied to, you know, 18 wheelers, black, black guy. Just killed a few weeks ago, I think it was. We ain't hearing about stuff like that. People coming up missing. You're not hearing stuff about that. They still don't understand where, you know, when these children are coming up dead, you know, they, their bodies are getting exhumed, but you don't know where the organs are. You know, it's just so many different things that, that you try not to think that these things are going on and all this stuff, but we need to open our eyes and realize there's stuff going on. That's the reason why so many people are going through these, you know, spiritual awakenings. I feel like, in my opinion, I feel like we're being put in certain situations that are so strenuous because whatever is coming towards us we need to be ready for it we need to be able to be whatever it is it is not going to be able to pierce us in any kind of negative way because it's just like even though it could be something very lovely for all of us to be able to shed light in the world you know darkness is not going to light that so of course all these dark situations are going to come up and then we have to be in that right state of mind to where when things pop off it won't be able to pierce us we just keep moving so it's just like when you're going through all these different things we have to just look you know i'm not going to keep quiet about the things i see i can't stand injustice when i see it i call it out you know this man did not have to lose his life they're talk talking about oh the guy they had an issue or whatever you know it is it, it just feel like it goes deeper than that they probably used him as the puppet to be able to pull these things you know i see stuff like that you know people coming up dead next thing you know it was like so it's called suicide or you know or overdose because it's like if you know too much you come up missing sometimes <laughs> it, it is sad to say but it does but then when i look at the situation with nipsey it's like it's tragic but it brings about positivity you know, it woke us up to a lot of things that we weren't, I mean, it, we sometimes we have to get smacked just for us to be able to pay attention. We need to be something, something needs to be really uproar for a lot of people to come together. And it's sad that, you know, we're all having to come together when it has to do with somebody's life being taken away. We shouldn't have to do that, but that is the way things are, it goes on in life, you know. The 9-11 situation, it got so many people to come together during something so tragic. You know, now this situation, even though you can't compare the same situation because it was one person, even though any life that's been taken in a way like that is still tragic. Mad, you know, if it's one or two or three thousand, that was still a tragic situation. And it's like things like that is very hurtful you still try to understand why it happened but then when you step back you see how beautiful it gotten because there were so many people that was willing to help each other it didn't matter what race creed color or whatever they all came together you know helping each other out in situations like this i hear that you know the police for nipsey are you know affected by that i've never heard no situation like that especially for a rapper you know, for the police to be affected by the LAPD are putting things in a newspaper where it really affected them in a way that is like, is amazing. You know, we, you know, I was talking about that a few weeks ago. Well, actually about a month ago when these people, you know, they lose children or whatever and it's put on the news and it affects people in different ways. It had more people wanting to pay out to be able to try to discover things to cure cancer especially for children you know I feel like it sucks you know I, I had cancer but it wasn't as bad as that where you have to take I, I was loaded up on a lot of medicine where I lost a lot of weight my hair shed it you know I couldn't keep things down but it wasn't in chemo but it was just like I understand but it's just like that 
with children, children can't always tell you where they hurt at or explain to you what kind of pain they go through. But it, it, it just seemed like when you lost a child through a situation like that, that woman had so many people in an uproar to where they wanted to find a cure for these things. They had people on to donate more money, trying to find more programs to be able to help these children out. And it takes a tragedy for something positive to be able to come out of that. And it's going to come out of positivity about this stuff too. But we have to be able to look at it that way. And I hope and pray we have positivity coming out of a sad situation like this. You know, I'm glad that the man got arrested for the one who caused this issue. You know, he's he's t taking Nipsey away from a lot of people that cared about that man. He ain't really been out that long being nominated for Grammys and stuff like that. And you're living your best life and you'd be snatched away like that. It's heartbreaking. It really is. But I hope you were able to see the point I was trying to make in this. I don't, I don't want anybody to resonate with this, but I hope you see the point I was trying to make about this. I was never trying to be disrespectful or hurtful towards anybody or their situations. I know talking about spiritual warfare and um, tar target individuals, you know, I, I never meant to offend anybody. But I, I, that's why I put the disclaimer out. If it comes to somebody being sensitive about certain things I talk about, don't watch the video. So, but yes, I, I would love to hear your feedback on this. You know, I see that we go through these many tragedies, but have so many blessings that come behind it because it, it, it brings togetherness. It brings, it makes you want to go and fight harder for things because I really do believe that they have a cure for these things. But if it's not going to benefit them in a way where they can be able to get, get put out in people's pockets and make them rich, richer, of course, they're going to make sure stuff is silenced. They're going to take care of loose ends. So... You know, you have your opinion and I have mine. So like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to hear, you know, your feedback on this situation. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe week. The week is almost over. Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I would love the chance to hear from you. And um, my post notification goes out to uh, True Blue. Gio Nico, G Nico, and let me see who else. Uh, Jason Deadwood, or Deadwood, Jason, whatever you want to go by. Much love to you, and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's somebody always, always out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day, and I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.